Hey guys, what's going on? It's JMT and welcome to a survive the night video that a lot of people wanted So here we are finally doing it today We did a video on the barbed wire using the ala override perk Well bundled technically where if you use the ala override perk and then if you use the tech wire gear skin for this bundle to work You can have no distance restriction on placing these barbed wires The whole point of this was in the other video that we did What if we used a bunch of supply bags and place these things all over the map and basically Basically, it would create an infinite loop strategy. It worked out extremely well. But in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to test to see how many barbed wires we can actually place in one match. And this is with a full lobby, by the way. In the video, though, we only have four people being able to support with supply bags, but we went ahead and did some calculations on how a full lobby would actually be if we were to have that option. So in today's video, guys, what we're going to answer is how many barbed wires can we actually place in one match with the ALA override bundle? being able to place them all down the line. So we did three games on two different maps. The first map was on guest house and we filled the basement with barbed wire, just completely filled it with all the tech wire. And then the next map that we did, we did two games on it was compound map and we went straight down the middle to see how many we could actually place in a row all the way down the main hallway in the compound map. And before the video does start, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who did help out in this video. I did a community post not too long ago asking if some people wanted to go ahead and help me in this idea. And these are the people who DM me on Discord. We threw them all into a lobby and we did this video for you guys today. So thank you guys for your support. So in the first map when we played on Guest House, the main idea was to go ahead and place all of these barbed wires on the main ground, on the basement ground. It did get a little bit jiffy at the end because as we were going back and forth and not really going in a straight direction, people were kind of placing their supply bags all over the place. Therefore, you'd have to run back and forth grabbing supply bags and it turned out to be a complete mess. And the only reason we didn't really plan this out really good right away on the guest house map is because the path that we were going led us straight into the water in the basement and we didn't want to go ahead and place barbed wires under there because it didn't look as pretty as if we were to go ahead and place them on the basement ground level. So we ended up actually going back and forth and back and it was really not a good idea um, but we did end up filling the complete basement floor of the guest house map so it was very fun to do the next two maps were on compound and we thought that this would be a better strategy and just taking numbers you know for the experiment but also having that visual of how many barbed wires could be right next to each other and it was visually pleasing so with the two rounds that we did if we had four people using the supply bag with the spare batteries perk to recharge their supply bag faster and then we had me using the ala override perk with the tech wire gear, how many of these things could we actually place in one single match all down the row? And with the both matches that we did on compound, it turned out to be around 35 of these tech wires. So here's where the calculations come into hand. With my alt character taking up a spot in the lobby, with myself taking up a spot in the lobby, and then with the four helpers taking up a spot in the lobby, that would be six people, which means we could have two more people using the supply bag if we had a full lobby. So let's go ahead and break this down really quick for you guys. If we we had 35 tech wires in the match. Let's do 35 minus one because I placed my tech wire right in the start right away. So therefore 34 of the barbed wires were from the four people supplying me with a supply bag. So if we take 34 divided by four, that is roughly eight to nine supply bags in one whole match in the five minute span that we get for playing a match and survive the night. The actual number is 8.5. And if we actually placed 36 supply bags in the start of the match, then the number would be close to nine, it would be 8.75 because it would be 35 divided by four. But we're just gonna estimate it and it was roughly around 34 supply bags. So if we had eight and a half supply bags being able to be placed, then we got a round down because that would be the whole amount of supply bags. So therefore that would be eight supply bags per person. So if we added two more people to this mix to make a full lobby, that means those two people would each have eight supply bags to give to me. So if we take eight plus eight, because that'd be two people, that would be another 16 supply bags and therefore another 16 barbed wires we could place down. So if we take the total amount that we estimated, 35 in the one match, and then add that to the 16 from the two other people, that would be over 50 barbed wires in one match all the way down the middle or just wherever you wanted to place it down the match. The actual number is 51, but we can just estimate again and say that would be over 50 
barbed wires, and a match of STN. And you can have these babies all the way down the middle because there's no place distance restriction. So imagine having a full room covered in barbed wire, over 50 of them. That would be completely insane and it would definitely drive the slasher bonkers. But if you were to go ahead and actually do this in an actual match playing against a real slasher, you could actually probably go ahead and do this infinite loop strategy just like we did in the other video. So now imagine if you had six people supplying you with the supply bag. It wouldn't matter if the slasher was coming after you or not. And it wouldn't matter if the slasher was breaking the barbed wire or not because you could have your gear refilled by the time the slasher, you know, before even breaks all the barbed wires that you just placed. You could technically loop the slasher infinitely. So those are pretty much all the calculations that we came up inside of this match, guys. So if you had a full lobby with people using the supply bag and the spare batteries perk to recharge their supply bag, and then if you had one person, like I was doing, using the Ayla override bundle, you could have a max cap of over 50 barbed wires placed in one match. Let me know your guys' opinions down below on what you think the strategy will hold in the future, and whether or not you guys think that there will be a nerf to the Ayla override override bundle in the future or even the barbed wire gear in general let me know down in the comments anyways guys that's gonna be it for me my name's jmt and i will see you in the next one peace out guys